U.S. investigators are saying more about the motives for the Russian hacking. They believe political campaigns were not the only targets for Vladimir Putin and his intelligence service. Jeff Pegues is talking with his sources about the Russian operation that began in the summer of last year. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. Investigators believe the cyber attacks that affected the Democratic National Committee are part of an elaborate Russian cyber espionage operation. U.S. intelligence officials have warned for some time that Russian officials have been working to carry out cyber operations that cause political instability or even regime change. Investigators now believe that Vladimir Putin initially wanted to damage Hillary Clinton with the cyber attacks. I've stood up to Russia. And to inject chaos and, and doubt others. into the U.S. And election process. They've also decided who they want to see become president of the United States, too, and it's not me. Wow, what a crowd. What U.S. A officials crowd. say it was an added bonus that Donald Trump, seen as more friendly to Russian interests, became the Republican nominee. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia? The information investigators now have comes from a variety of sources and shows that hundreds of people may have been involved from the Kremlin to Russian intelligence and to hacking units. They weren't just trying to get lucky and while electing Trump definitely benefits them, they also win even if Clinton is elected because she would be weakened, her, her mandate to govern would be weakened by all of the uh, negative feedback that's been put into the media system. Clint Watts Clinton. is a fellow at the Center for Cyber and Homeland Security at George Washington University. Rather than negotiating at a state-to-state -state level, they're actually engaging the U.S. public to try and influence an outcome that they want. The election process was not the only target for Russian hackers. The American military was targeted in July of 2015 when the unclassified email system of the Pentagon's joint staff was breached. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin reports that retired chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Martin Dempsey, says the attack occurred at an alarming speed. Within an hour, hackers had seized control of the computer credentials of Dempsey and hundreds of other senior officers. The only way to stop the attack was to take down the computer network. The hack came from 30,000 emails that were sent to a West Coast university. Four were forwarded, forwarded to members of the joint staff. One was open. The apparent purpose was to cause damage and force the Pentagon to replace their hardware and software. Investigators believe the Russians were lashing out after the Obama administration imposed economic sanctions. Charlie? Hey, thanks, Jeff.